I'm Casper and this is K Mix and Mastering. I work with mixing and mastering for artists, bands, record labels and everybody. In this Danglish review, I'm going to tell you how I've been using this NAS server and this network system from QNAP in my professional life as a mix and mastering engineer and overall musician guy. Besides running the studio, I also do a lot of teaching. I teach in big workshops uh, with mixing and mastering and producing music and I also do a little bit of video on the side. I record my students and a lot of bands and I've got this small Danish YouTube channel. I'm thinking about switching to English language instead of Danish but I don't know if you can hear it. I'm speaking with a very thick Danglish accent. That's Danish and English all mixed into one. It's not pretty but I think you understand what I'm saying. This is not a traditional review with sliding graphics and tech specs and all that. This is more a video for you to see how I've been using the products that QNAP has sent me. The reason why I was looking for more storage is because that audio and video are growing and growing. And this old Mac Pro from 2013 isn't big enough anymore. I've been using a system of external hard drives and external SSD, but that's just too confusing and I'm using way too much time thinking about where the projects are. All this is backed up on a one gigabit connection to an old Synology server and that's not fast enough. I like speed. It has to be fast. At the same time, I'm really sensitive to noises when I'm working creatively with music. I like to focus in on the music and on the artist, on the voice and just dive into the music. There's really nothing more irritating than the sound of a hard drive just clicking and you know all the fans are spinning and the stuff and I really don't like it. And at the same time I'm so lucky to be working in this fantastic studio that's built all around these speakers and everything sounding perfectly neutral in here. Why would I ruin all these great acoustic with a lot of computer parts that just uh, noise and irritating stuff. I don't like that. So what is the solution then? I've got it. I'm just going to buy 31 terabyte SSD hard drives. Yes. No, no, I'm not a millionaire. I haven't got that kind of money and I'm not a trained IT specialist. I'm a trained musician and a mix and master engineer. So I've got to find somebody to help me. That's why I reach out for QNAP. They are producing NASes and switches and 10 gigabyte adapters and all kinds of network things. They were kind enough to send me three items that I can use to solve my problem about my storage. Let's present the QNAP TVS 672 XT. It's a giant box with room for six hard drives and two SSDs. You can expand it in all kinds of different ways and you can connect to it with one or 10 GBE and you can do a direct connection with Thunderbolt 3. However, I wouldn't recommend sticking the box in a regular studio where I have to record or work creatively with music because it's, you know, the fans are spinning and the hard drives are clicking. Maybe I'm a bit too sensitive, but I wouldn't recommend it. Just use the network connection. That is why I've connected my QNAP NAS with 10 GBE with this next product from QNAP. This is the QSW M2108-2C. It's a 10 port switch with 1 and 10 GBE connections. And that switch is connected to my NAS with 10 GBE and my Mac Pro with 10 GBE and of course my ISP and all the stuff I've got connected to my network as well. The last part is the QNA T310G1T. Wow, QNAP could be better with naming their equipment, but anyway, it's just a name. It's a Thunderbolt to 10 GPE adapter that is going to be plugged into my computer and the next computer I'm going to buy maybe in 2021. That enables me to have 10 GPE network connectivity instead of the normal 1 GPE. You don't need any drivers on a Mac and you just plug it in and it works. Okay. So the Thunderbolt adapter is going in the back of my Mac and I've got a regular Cat 6A cable running out of the studio and up over the attic and down into a, like a kind of a server room where the switch and all the rest of my gear and the NAS is placed. And let's just talk a bit about the technical stuff because I'm using a RAID system inside the NAS. What that means is that the six drives are working together in one big storage pool and that's why I can have 
36 terabytes of space. I've chosen RAID 5, which means that I can have one drive fail and all the data is still going to be there. It's not backup, but it's kind of a nice way to think about your very vulnerable data that's on the NAS. And in the future, I can buy bigger drives, put them in the NAS and expand this storage pool and still have all my data right there. It's great. And it's been working very, very well. It's been so nice just having a lot of fast, quick storage and it's given me a lot more time to just focus on mixing and mastering and creating great mixes and doing great mastering. There are a few downsides and bad things about having a NAS server and upgrading your whole entire network system. One, I've used a lot of time reading online and researching and watching a lot of YouTube videos about what is the best network solution and what is the fastest server and rate types and all that. But remember, you don't have to buy a big heavy NAS like this one over here. You can buy just a simple one, like actually like the one I had just before with a one gigabit connection. You don't need 10 gigabit every time. Two, the whole system uses a lot of power and you might need to have a separate room for all the gear to be in because if you're like me you don't like the noise of spinning hard drives and fans three the money remember you don't have to go all in like i did and upgrade the network system and use big drives and use six of them and buy a big one you can also get a smaller server maybe just for two bays and just use the one gigabit connection for even though this QNAP adapter works perfectly and it's quick and fast, there's one downside. It's got this small fan which blows air into the hot component. I really don't like the sound of it and I'm thinking about exchanging it for something without a fan. In the end, this entire solution with QNAP has solved all of my problems. I've got a lot of storage. It's fast, it's completely silent, and I can expand it and expand it for years to come. And if you're like me and you're working with audio or video, you know that the files are just getting bigger and bigger and everybody needs fast, reliable, big storage right now. And in this video, I haven't even talked about all the other stuff that this amazing QNAP server can do. Plex Media Server, you can make a cloud, like a Dropbox solution for yourself. You can do surveillance and all these crazy stuff like virtual machines and stuff like that i don't really need all of this i just need what i've got now okay that's all i have to say about this entire solution from qnap now if you've got one thing to do go back make some great video great audio great music and video content have a great day